job. You guys did a long time. That's a, that's a lot of hard work. Good job. Uh, well, I've been around it a long time, and um, I was taught um, taught very well at a young age. My dad was a coach, so that was a, a huge advantage for me. Take your time. Turn turn this way. Shoot. Look like you're gonna shoot it. Yep. Okay. Then I'm up, and you're on. To be able to learn some of the fundamentals at a really young age, and uh, so I, it's easy for me to to uh, come in and try to try to help kids and, and, and share what I've learned. What we're trying to do is actually make it look like you're going to shoot the ball. Because in the game, you're not going to have it, in my mind, I'm not going to be pre-programming. I'm not going to say, I'm going to do an up and under on this play. You're only going to do an up and under if you turn to shoot it and you can't get the shot off because the player is too close. My dad was great about it. Um, he didn't push basketball on me. Um, what he did was he gave me uh, an opportunity to be around it a lot and develop my own love for it. And turn it, shoot it. Nope. There you go. Atta boy. So um, my mom used to drop me off at the high school uh, after school and he'd have his practice with his varsity team and I would just be in the gym. Uh, sometimes I'd be playing tag with my sister running through the halls. Other times I'd be bouncing the ball shooting and kind of developing that love on my own. And, um, and then when we would sit at home and watch games, he was able to tell me some things that I, would, I was able to pick up, some concepts. Um, that really gave me an advantage as a young player. A lot of kids aren't going to learn that, maybe some of those things until they get into high school. And um, so it was, a, it was a great childhood, a great way to grow up. And my dad deserves most of the credit because he handled it in a great way. Didn't push it too hard. He let me kind of develop my own love for it. Don't let me move you. You got to get low and get strong. There you go. Oh, I'm here. There you go. So turn and shoot it. Shoot it. All right, so this next play, you just did that. You just made it, you just made it in my face on the last possession, so I'm going to be ready for that. So turn like you're going to shoot it again. Go ahead. But I'm right here. I won't let you, so you pump fake, and then you do your up and under. There you go. So I grew up going to camps like this, and um, they were, you know, they were high school camps or whatever in, in our hometown. But uh, So, yeah, I've seen how... Um, Coaches have interacted with young kids, and I've seen that a lot. So, um, yeah, I think it helps, and I, I get a good feel for it. When we're in a setting like this. We want to practice it, so we want to uh, get our skills better, get our feet better, so we can do these moves quickly, so that when we're in the game, we don't have to think about it, right? Because we've practiced it so many times, so many times. So I catch the ball, I turn to shoot, but I see that my defender's on me, and then I can quit going to my up and under, right? The goal is to practice this stuff when there's no defense or there's, there's a fake defense like I was playing, do it over and over and over again so that you can do it quick, quicker and quicker and quicker so that when you get in the game, you don't even have to think about it. One, two, three. Thunder. Thunder. Well done. See you guys.